So this is one of my clients. And this is literally what she was using on her website, on her social media platforms. And when you hear the name of her business, I hope you're sitting down because you'll be like, oh my God. So the name of her business is Unlock Your Love Blocks. And my tagline for that is like, unlock your love blocks from behind the tree and in the shadows. I'm going to help you from behind the trees and in the shadows. Unlock your love block. You know, and some of us aren't visual thinkers. I mean, I, I live in visuals. That's my world. So I totally get it. She's not a visual person. So it didn't really occur to her that being authentic and stepping into her authenticity and really having images that were aligned with what she was putting out in the world, it didn't really occur to her that that should be a priority. So what happened is Rebecca had a soul portrait. She took that image that you see on the right and she printed it out and she put it in front of her every day. She like put it right by her computer so that she could see it so that that's the person she was looking at. And what did it do? It increased her self-awareness in how, t in terms of how in touch she was with her own heart. She saw, oh yeah, this isn't my heart to do. I want to unlock people's love blocks. This is what I came to do. This is my purpose. And when she lined up with that herself, her Facebook page exploded like exploded. She created a new website and she was empowered to start this whole new coaching program that she had never done before. She was kind of in the shadows helping people unlock their love blocks, but she used this image and she said, I'm going to stand in the truth of it. I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to tell people, this is what I can do for you. This is how I can help you. And she was like, she had so much business. She didn't even know what to do with it. 